Hey guys, I'm Hebron and this is WH. Today we'll be unboxing the Redmi 9 and the Redmi Note 9. Let's get to it. So right here we got the Redmi 9 and the Redmi Note 9. The Redmi Note 9 is a bit more expensive version, a pro version if you'd say, of the Redmi 9. So let's first go to the Redmi 9. So it's a typical Xiaomi box. A doesn't have any plastic covering to it like the more expensive versions do so on the back of it we get all the information about the chipset which is the Helio G35 and it's got a 5000 mAh battery a 13 megapixel plus 2 megapixel AI rare camera AI portrait mode test and a 6.53 inch HD plus display so it's got fingerprint sensor 2.53 gigahertz octa core processor 5.5 megapixel selfie camera with AI portraits, a dedicated micro SD card. This is the 4 gigabyte RAM version and 64 gigabyte ROM. So on the side we got Redmi 9 with easy access to the Google apps you use most. Redmi is really rubbing it on Huawei. If you don't know, Huawei cannot use any kind of Google applications in their software and their mobiles. Redmi can, so I guess they're rubbing it in. So I guess this is the this whole this is the phone on the top. Let's get to it later. Let's set it aside so inside the box. So here's the SIM injector tool paperwork. So I'm not gonna go deep into that. So here is the 10 watt charger for the phone. We'll set that aside and we have a micro Oh, oof, it is. So we have a USB A to micro USB cable. Guys, it's seriously it's 2020. It's that's a bummer. So that's pretty much it. There's nothing else in the box. Nothing too interesting like a case or anything, but this is a budget phone. So let's get to the phone itself. This feels like it already has a case on it. Tell the truth, I really don't like that. But your opinion may differ. It does have a screen protector on it. I'm not gonna touch that for now. So this phone comes with MIUI, which is exclusive to Xiaomi phones. So if we're taking a look at the phone, it does have a fingerprint sensor though. I'm not sure how accurate it is. Got a triple camera array. I'm not sure if this is actually a camera. I don't think so. So let's set aside the phone right now and let's go into Redmi Note 9. And on the back we do have the same thing, the 48. It does have a better camera, megapixel. 48 megapixel AI quote camera, 13 megapixel in display selfie camera. It's got Helio G85 chip, a 6.53 inch, it's, it's basically the same size. And a 5020 mAh battery, so the battery is 20 mAh better, that's not a big difference. Let's unbox it. Unlike the Redmi Note 9, this does have a some kind of cover on the top. So this is basically the same thing. It has the oh it oh it comes with a case. I think the Redmi 9 doesn't come with a case, but this does. So it does have a case here. It's a pretty good quality case. You can use it until you can buy a better case, kind of like the OnePlus, but I don't recommend using it for a long period of time. It does become a bit yellow in time. So next we have the phone itself. So this is a, this is a charger. So this is a 22 watt charger for the Note 9. And the good thing is, it has a USB type C charger instead of a micro USB. That's all we have in here in the box. Even though it looks like it, this is not glass. This, this color, it's called the Scarlet Red. Here are the phones, the Redmi 9 and the Redmi Note 9. First look, not much of a difference from the front, but I would say the Redmi Note 9 looks a bit smaller than the regular 9. 
Also, the Redmi 9 has a water drop notch and the Redmi 9 has a hole punch cut on the left top corner. And I think the corner, the top corner hole punch is better than the, wa wa the water drop notch. It's just my preference. Also, another difference between these two is that the Redmi 9 has a HD plus display, which means it's somewhere between 1080p and 720p. But in case of the Note 9, it's a full HD plus display. The Redmi 9 comes at 9,000 rupees and the Redmi Note 9 comes at about 10 to 11,000 rupees. It's a 1,000 rupees difference, but I think I would recommend going that far to get the Redmi Note 9. So the one thing that convinces me to get a Note 9 instead of a 9 is the the texture, the general feel. Having it in the hand, the no the Redmi 9 feels like a very cheap phone, but the Redmi Note 9 feels kind of premium. It is plastic, but the, the touch to it is kind of glassy, glossy or whatever. So that feels better. The packaging is almost the same, but kind of premium in a way. It's got a silicone case with it. It has a screen protector that comes with it, but this Redmi 9 doesn't come with that. The Redmi Note 9 has a better high resolution screen, but the Redmi 9 has a HD plus screen that looking at it, you can really find a difference between the, those two. Both of these phones have fingerprint unlocking, so I did enable those. Okay, those are not working. Not the best quality, but it's their budget phones. Yeah, their budget phones, so you can't really expect to have to have really good fingerprint sensors. Now, another problem of the Mi UI is that it's really different from the usual Android experience we get from like people who use OnePlus really. They really find this unpleasant to use, but in my opinion, it, it is pretty good to look at and it's way better than it was before. The problem is that it has a lot of bloatware. For example, let me find some for you. So it doesn't have a high refresh rate, a little bummer, but you can manage, of course. The 60 Hz is the norm after all. Look at this, something called Zilli music app, the MI Pay app, MI Credit, MI Store. You already have Amazon, Facebook, VPS Office, LinkedIn, and here it's something booking.com. So there are a lot of bloatware on this phone. That's the one problem of the MIUI, but for the price, it's worth it. So for some reason, it always, the Xiaomi phones always ship with beauty features on you have to uh, cancel that redmi note 9 has a better camera a cord camera setup whereas here it does not have a cord camera setup it does not have a wide camera or a telephoto camera whereas the redmi note 9 has both of them so in the camera department the redmi note 9 is the clear winner the front facing camera is way more sharp than the regular 9 it really shows every pore in my face. Talking about the bezels, both of these phones have almost the same kind of bezels, but the but the Redmi 9 has a little bit much of a thicker bezels. The Note 9 looks better in the display. The Redmi Note 9 is actually pretty much brighter than the Redmi 9, and that can be helpful for people who usually go outdoors a lot. Another thing, battery life. I haven't used it for long, but both these phones came at about 67 or 70 percent, somewhere near that range. They both basically came at the same percentage. And by now, the Redmi Note 9 is 1 percent below, 1 percent below the Redmi 9. I don't know if it tells the whole story. I can't use it for so long as to find out what the battery life of this is. If you like the Redmi phones, spend a thousand rupees more to get the Redmi Note 9 which is actually way better than the Redmi 9 in my opinion. So in conclusion, both these phones are really good 
budget phones. You don't expect to get the same amount of performance, the snappiness that you get from other phones. Opening up applications and doing tasks in normal situations, going to settings, opening media, etc. will take a bit of time and it is not as snappy as the phones. These phones cannot really, they do not have the best chipsets. They have Helios chipset, which is not really good compared to Snapdragon or Exynos. So not the best for gaming, but really good budget phones. There is little doubt why this is one of the most famous phones, one of the famous brands in India. It provides the performance, the experience that is really competitive in this price range. So that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more content like this, I upload almost once a week, once or twice a week. So if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.